Welcome to beautiful Canmore, Alberta. We are here today amidst the incredible Rocky Mountains with a yoga flow for your mind. This yoga class is a wonderful way to not only release tension, resistance, and stress out of your body, but it's also a beautiful gift for your mind and mental state of being. Connecting with the breath and movement of the body, this practice will leave you feeling refreshed, calm, and re-energized. So if you're ready to get started, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, my friends, let's begin today seated at the center of your mat. Go ahead and place both of your hands on top of your heart. Close your eyes, and let's start our practice today by just taking a couple of deep breaths, allowing yourself to find your presence allowing the mind to settle down, bringing yourself into this beautiful state of awareness on your mat with yourself, connected to your breath, to your own movement. As you inhale, just feel that heart beating in your chest. Exhale, let it go. Releasing the arms, and at this time on your next breath, reaching them up to the sky. And then exhale, taking a nice big side stretch. One hand is on the mat, the other arm is reaching all the way over. Making sure that your shoulders and your hips are square, your sit bones are grounded on the mat. Breathing into that side body. See if you can look up towards the sky to really force those shoulders to open up. Now, if you're reaching towards your left side, you're going to extend your right leg out at this time. If you're reaching towards the right, extend the left. And then once you're there, go ahead and come back to the center and then take the same arm, bring it down with the elbow to the floor and the opposite arm now reaches over towards the top of your mat. So now we're deepening the stretch into the side body on your opposite side while at the same time going a little bit deeper into our hamstrings, into the lower body. This is a perfect opportunity for you to just close your eyes and reconnect with yourself. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful work. Come back to center. Great. Now bend that knee. Bring it forward. Grab your ankle with both hands and then see if you can extend that leg in front of your body. Now don't worry if you can't get into a full extension. If you need to keep your knee slightly bent, that's totally fine. What I want you to focus on here is trying to keep your back straight. And then from here, with that same hand, grab your big toe and then see if you can extend and open that leg to the side. From here, stay where you are. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can reach the opposite arm away from your body. So just really elongating everything here, looking over that opposite shoulder. Good, feel that nice stretch. Beautiful, come back to center, bend the knee, come back into your seated easy pose. Let's do that again on the other side. This time beginning with our easy side stretch. So go ahead and take it over to the side that you haven't done yet. Good, breathing deeply, close your eyes and just focus on that simple act of inhalation and exhalation. With your exhalation, let go of tension in your body. Let go of tension in your mind. Any negativity, any thoughts, any doubts or fears that are troubling you today. Exhale them out as you allow yourself to go deeper into your stretch. Inhale. Exhale at this time, extend the opposite leg away from your body. And then come back to center. Same arm comes down, so ideally the elbow comes onto the mat if you can. And the other arm reaches over towards the top of the mat. Looking up towards the ceiling will allow you to make sure that your shoulders are staying square. You want to make sure the shoulders and hips are facing towards the screen. Beautiful. And just breathing deeply again. With your eyes closed, focusing on letting go of all that no longer serves you. 
physical tension, emotional tension. Going back to center and then go ahead and grab that foot with both hands. See if you can extend the leg in front of you. Making sure that you're not rounding out through the spine, so try to elongate the back. Nice and tall, opening that heart center, breathing in deeply into your lungs. Feeling that deep stretch through your hamstring. And then see if you can grab that big toe with your peace fingers of the same hand and then open it to the side. Good. That other arm reaches towards the other side of the mat, so you're really focusing on making a beautiful long line with your body. Inhale. Exhale out. Well done. Slowly bend your knee. Come on back to your seated position, reaching both arms up to the sky one more time. And then as you exhale, palms together and then come forward with your body as you release all the way down. See if you can bring your forehead as far down to the mat as possible. Holding from your hips, your sit bones are staying grounded on your mat. Just breathe deeply. Let it go. Be one with your breath and with your exhalation. Let go of any energy that is weighing you down or perhaps holding you back from true happiness and joy. You have the power to release everything that you no longer need. Slowly come back to neutral, seated position, reaching both arms up to the sky one more time. And then once you're ready, let's come on over to our hands and knees position on your mat. Just give yourself a minute here to readjust. You want to make sure the shoulders are right above your wrist. Tuck your toes underneath. And at this time, slowly begin to lift the hips up into our downward dog. You can keep your knees bent if you feel that extra tension in the hamstrings. You can also start to add movement here by walking it out on one spot, bending one knee at a time and pressing the opposite heel into the floor. Feel free to add movement in your shoulders as well. Just do whatever feels nice for your body here. Allow this movement to feel good on your body. And then once you're ready, just pause in stillness, holding our downward facing dog. Breathing deeply, allowing your sternum to come down towards the mat. Opening up through the body. Inhale. Exhale, let's flow it out. We're gonna come forward into high plank position. Take a Chaturanga Dandasana. Release the back toes and open up into your upward facing dog. Exhale, press into the hands, lift yourself back into your downward facing dog, release the feet. Inhale, exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, take two steps towards the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, go ahead and grab the opposite elbows and just take yourself forward. Feel free to add a little rag doll here, swaying side to side, letting go of any tension in your neck and your shoulders. If you feel like you've been holding on to tension and weight in your shoulders, let it all release. Beautiful. Now from here, come on up halfway again. Exhale, release, and slowly roll yourself up to standing. Inhale, big reach with both arms up to the sky. Exhale, palms together over to your heart, finding that center, that intention, that breath connection. Inhale again, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend those elbows and slowly bring yourself back to center. Bending your right knee at this time, bring it up to your belly button and then step it all the way back into your high crescent lunge. Arms reaching up to the sky, left knee on top of your ankle. Find your balance, find your center, find that breath. Inhale, exhale, slowly from here, transition back towards the front of your mat, hands onto the mat, lift your back leg like you're coming into a warrior three, except we're going to keep the hands grounded for now. 
From here, just hold those hips square and bring your forehead as close to your knee. Inhale, lift the head up. Exhale, forehead close to the knee. Just a little movement here and again, head up. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, body up. Exhale, body down. Come back up, flex the back foot, and then at this time, let's open into our half moon. You're gonna stack your right hip on top of your left hip. Left arm stays grounded, right arm reaches up to the sky. We're focusing on stacking our shoulders, stacking the hips. Your hand can stay grounded, your gaze is on the mat. Beautiful job. Now that top arm is going to bend and your hand is going to come behind your back. Stay where you are. And then once you're ready, we're going to transition into our peaceful warrior by bending the bottom knee, stepping your foot to the back of your mat, and then reaching all the way back into that peaceful warrior. See if that back arm can reach towards the front thigh behind your back. If not, then just keep it bent where it was behind your back. You don't need to touch the front thigh. Good, and just again, lengthening through that side body, breathing in deeply. Good, inhale. And as you exhale, transitioning into our extended side angle. A couple variations here. One variation is to bring your elbow onto the knee and just look over your shoulder. Variation two is to bring your hand down to the mat, look over your shoulder, up to the sky. Variation three is to take a full bind by reaching that bottom arm towards the back, binding and opening your body. So take whatever version feels best for you today and breathe deeply into the side body. Feeling any tension or stiffness release with each breath. Noticing the lengthening of your hip flexors and your psoas, your side body, your chest is opening. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, slowly bring your gaze down towards the mat first. Release your top arm. Come on up over to your peaceful warrior one more time. Inhale, and then exhale, cartwheel the arms down, pivot the back foot. Opening yourself into that lunge, stepping back into plank position, take your flow, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, release into your downward facing dog. Well done, you guys. Take a breath. Take a moment to recenter yourself, your balance, your body, your mind. Come back to this present moment. Come back to your breath. Come back. To yourself. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Bend your knees, lift the heels, take two steps forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, come on back into that standing forward fold. Inhale, slowly come on up to standing now as you reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come back down to your heart. Close your eyes, take a breath. Find your balance, center, intention. Inhale, reach the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, dive all the way back down to the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step your left foot now to the back of your mat, coming into our crescent high lunge on the other side, both arms reaching up. Finding your center, your right knees above your right ankle. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Feel that nice lengthening sensation through the back of your leg. Inhale. Exhale, reach the hands down towards the mat as your back leg comes off the mat. Hips are square, so it's like a warrior three variation. Hands are on the ground though. Let's move the body, lift the body up. Exhale, forehead comes closer towards that bottom knee. Just move with the breath, inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Don't lose the positioning of your hips. Inhale, up. Good. Hold it there. Flex the back foot. 
Let's open up the hips now. Left hip stacks over right. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Right fingertips are grounded on the mat. Look down towards your mat. Opening into that half moon. You're holding, you're breathing here. All your joints are stacked. You're balanced, you're powerful, you're strong. Hold that focus. Then see if you can bring that top arm behind your back. Good. If you can reach for that bottom thigh, that's great. If not, don't worry. You can just keep that hand behind your back. Let's step the left foot all the way down. Keep the positioning of your back arm. Front arm reaches all the way towards the back of your mat. Peaceful warrior. Great job. Breathe in. Hold it there. Beautiful. And now from here, let's transition over to our extended side angle, taking one of the variations you prefer. So first variation, elbow to the knee. Your other arm can stay behind your back. Variation two, your hand to the mat, look up towards the sky. And then of course, variation three is to take the more advanced bind position, binding your hands behind as you open up making sure that whichever variation you're taking that both of your shoulders are stacked and open look up towards the sky so you're continuing to open up through that upper body breathe in deeply welcoming as much oxygen as you can into the side body into your hip flexor inhale and exhale beautiful Slowly let's release, release the hands, come back up, peaceful warrior, one more time. This time your left hand comes all the way to the back, and then cartwheel the arms down, pivot the back foot, so you're not a lunge position, and step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward, facing dog. And then as you exhale, you're going to press into your hands, lift the hips, downward, facing dog. Beautiful work. Let's hold it here. Finding that center. Feel free to close your eyes just to connect to that breath. And then slowly make your way over to your knees. We're going to come on up to your knees here and take our next posture called your camel. So reach both arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, just bring your hands over to your center. Really finding that balance. Your knees are hip width apart couple variations here. Variation one is to just take your hands onto your sacrum, your lower back. Variation two is to bring the hands all the way over to your heels and then open up. I'm going to be taking the first variation with my hands on my lower back. However, if you like to go deeper, you're more than welcome to do so. Wherever you are, really think about pushing the hips forward. You're opening through that chest. If you're in a full camel, you can always drop your head all the way back as well. Good, just open up, really opening through that front body, opening your heart, letting go of any tension, resistance, stiffness in your heart. Open yourself up to the universe, to the world. Beautiful, one more breath in, really open up. And then when you're ready, exhale. If your hands are on your heels, come back up to your back, and then all together, we're going to open up and sit back over to your heels. Open up the knees and then reach your arms forward into your child's pose or counter pose. And this is just to release the back. We want to release it in the opposite direction, letting go of any soreness you may feel in the back. Arms are reaching forward. Your forehead is down. Just breathe deeply. Inhale and exhale. Great job, and again, deep breath in. And exhale out. Slowly roll yourself up, and then lift yourself back up into your downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Good, let's take a flow, come into plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. 
and then exhale push back release into your downward facing dog good just another breath in let it go lift your heels bend your knees hop over and come back over to your mat in a seated position scoot forward slightly so you have lots of room and then make your way over to your back once you're on your back, go ahead and bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a huge hug here and then begin to gently rock side to side. A gentle massage of the lower back of the sacrum, just side to side. Good, stimulating your parasympathetic nervous system at this time. Letting your body and your mind know that it's time to relax, to slow down. Slow down your breath. Inhale. And then once you're ready, you can curl yourself up to a little ball and then release into our final posture, our Shavasana. Let go of your legs, palms of your hands are open, facing up towards the sky. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. Letting go of your body. Allowing yourself to become heavier and heavier with each exhalation. Allow your eyes to be heavy. Relax your jaw. Allow the heaviness to release out of your shoulders, letting it melt into the ground. Relax your glutes, your thighs. Allow your feet to be heavy, your entire body heavy as a rock. Visualize yourself letting go deeper and deeper as you allow tension to melt away not only out of your body but out of your mind. Any feelings of fear, anxiety, stress. See those energies, those negative energies slowly leaving your body, melting into the ground. And with your inhalation, welcome positive, radiant energy into your being. Inhaling the energy of love, courage, strength, and peace. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, and exhale, let it go. Be one with your breath, and let go. You're more than welcome to stay here for as long as you need to. However, if you need to get going with your day, let's bring our awareness back to our physical body. Moving your fingers and your toes. And then reaching your arms over your head, giving yourself a big stretch. Bending your knees and rolling over to one side. And then coming over to your seated position on your mat with your feet crossed in front of you. You're more than welcome to keep your eyes closed. Just find that center, breathe deeply into your body, into your heart. And then exhale, let it go. 
feeling yourself re-energized, balanced, and strong. Feeling that energy moving through the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. Inhale, let it go, bringing your hands together over to your heart in Anjali Mudra, and then bowing down to your own heart, thanking yourself for your incredible practice today. Thank you so much for joining me amidst the beautiful Rocky Mountains. I send you love and light. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to us if you click that subscribe button to make sure our content rises to the top. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.